Question 16. 240 pupils attended the Primary 5 Adventure Camp. We know that there are some pupils attending a P5 camp. How many of them attended the camp? We have 240 pupils attending the camp. 4 over 5 of the boys and 2 over 5 of the girls brought sleeping bags with them. In this sentence, we see two fractions, 4 over 5 of the boys and 2 over 5 of the girls. We got to ask ourselves in this situation, are these two fractions referring to the same item? Is this an equal concept question where we could safely make either the numerator or the denominator the same to solve the question? 4 over 5 refers to boys only, and 2 over 5 refers to girls only. Do we know the number of boys and the number of girls? If we do not know, we cannot assume that there is an equal number of boys and girls, nor can we assume and make the denominator the same, since both boys and girls are unknown. Hence, to help us to differentiate, we need to assign, not units, but a different letter to solve the question. Separating the numerator from the denominator for boys. The denominator 5 usually tells us the total number of boys which you can denote with 5b. The numerator 4 tells us the number of boys with sleeping bags. So let's use 4b to indicate the number of boys with sleeping bags. What is left of 5b minus 4b? We get 1b and this is the number of boys without a sleeping bag. Let's note this down as 1b. Can you do the same for the girls? Separating the numerator from the denominator for the girls. The denominator 5 usually tells us the total number of girls, which we can denote with 5g. The numerator 2 tells us the number of girls with sleeping bags. So, so let's use 2g to indicate the number of girls with sleeping bags. What is left of 5g minus 2g? It will give us 3g. And this is the number of girls without sleeping bag. Now that we are done, let's continue reading. 72 pupils did not bring sleeping bags. Well, these 72 pupils are represented by 1b and 3g since they did not bring a sleeping bag. We can write this down as equation 1. Can we form another equation? Yes, the first grade sentence tells us that there were a total of 240 students, which comprises of 5b and 5g. So, let's write this down as equation 2. This is a classical case of forming simultaneous equations to solve a question. How can we solve this question? As a tip, when we want to solve for one letter, say in this case, the letter b, we need to get rid of the other letter which is letter G. A good way is to make sure that B in both equation 1 and equation 2 has the same quantity. Since equation 2 has 5B, we can make B's in equation 1 the same as equation 2 by simply multiplying equation 1 with the number 5. This will give us 5B plus 15G, which equates to 360. Now, Let's subtract the items in equation 1 from equation 2. What do you see? We can see that 5b minus 5b will give me 0b. 15g minus 5g will give me 10g. Also, 360 minus 240 will give me 120. We now have 10g equals to 120. And now, can you solve for 1g from here? To get 1g, Simply take 120 divided by 10. We now have 12. Oh dear, we only have G. We do not have B. What should we do? We can substitute what we have found for G into equation 1 to solve for B. Now, follow me. First, we will find 3G, which will give us 12 times 3 equals to 36. Using equation 1, let's put all the known numbers in. And we arrive at 1b plus 36 equals to 72. If you are unable to see how we can derive the answer for 1b, simply draw a simple model. From here, 1b is equals to 72 minus 36, which will give us 36. To find the total number of boys who attended the primary 5 adventure camp, we need to find 
5b. So, to find 5b, simply take 36 times 5 and the answer will be 180 volts.